Welcome to episode 403 of the official Game Stitch podcast. I'm Ryan Walton, and as always, I'm joined by Dan Reamer. Good morning. What the fuck just happened? That's called a cold start. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it, yeah. Yeah, we're just mid-conversation, just fired it up. Oof. I tried to leave off on a fun comment before I started the show, too. <laughs> Producer Gerald doesn't even have didn't even have time to do any producing. He's just sitting there. It's fine. He'll he'll be fine. He's a pro. <laughs> yeah, he is a pro. You need to give him a little bit more of a heads up, though. I said three seconds. I know you did. I was there. <laughs> There's not much to pull up this week. That's true. Yeah. Um, I am Ryan. That is Dan. We are joined by producer Gerald. It's a Sunday morning, a brisk Sunday morning. Yeah, it's a little chilly here. A little snap in the air. It's football weather, as they say. Not for the Titans, because they all have COVID, but it's... Uh, Football weather for a lot of people today. Mm-hmm. Not not for Cam Newton. Nope, not for the Patriots. They they shut that whole thing down too. Postponed that game. The NFL is in an interesting situation because uh, every time they postpone a game for one team, it it affects another team or all the other teams eventually or potentially. Yeah. So it's it's definitely uh it's definitely a unique situation. I think eight Titans now have uh have the COVID. So play anyway. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to. Uh huh. Yeah, but I don't know. You do have a. Uh, sort of face mask on with that helmet, though. What is it they say? Play until you're dead? Is that what they say? I don't know. They definitely don't say that anymore. If you're, not, if you're not dead, keep going. Play through the pain. It sounds like you're just quoting the replacements now. <laughs> yeah, right. There's a difference. <laughs> <clears throat> Remember the repli- replacements? Remember how good that movie was with Keanu? Oh, it's so good. That movie's good. It doesn't hold up, but that was a good movie back then. It's still uh, just a fun watch if you just want a dumb, stupid watch. Yeah, it is... <laughs> It is dumb and stupid, but it's funny. It's a cool, chill movie to watch. It's a, it is a good, chill movie to watch. My allergies are doing well this morning. Finding a lot of those. I'm finding a lot of those here recently. Just some, like, huh, you know what? I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah, I don't do that. Oh, I do. I just got done watching all the Alien, the whole Alien, Alien series. Yeah, I don't, I don't really watch anything, and I definitely don't go back and watch anything. Oh, I do. The only exception is if I catch a little bit of Fast and the Furious on, at any time, on T- TBS or TNT, I watch a little bit of them. <laughs> I thought about going back and watching the Harry Potters again. I've never even seen all the Harry Potters. Oh, you should watch them. Man, look how good his hair looks in replacements. Oh, yeah, they flipped that truck over. Dude, that yeah, movie is good. Yeah. Now that I think about that, that movie's fine. Go that back and watch it. Yeah, that movie still holds up. Did you see that? There's four tires on that truck and a fifth one rolls off. I know. That's the spare, man. That's the spare. I guess. Oh, I forgot he was in there, too. Yeah, it's, I think this is one of Gene Hackman's last movies, actually, before he retired. Man, what a good one to go out on, right? That's, yeah. I don't think That's this Orlando. was the last one. I think it's one of the last ones. What's his name? Orlando. Orlando Jones. Jones. Yeah. Doesn't he make 7-Up yours again? Uh, wasn't, wasn't he the was make 7-Up guy? Yeah, I think so. That might have been. What about uh, Gene Hackman? What was, what was the state of... Uh, Enemy of the State. Enemy of the State. Wasn't that one of his last ones? With him and Will Smith. No, I think that's before The Replacements, actually. Oh, I love that movie. That's a good movie, too. It holds up. What's actually, I think the around? last movie he Gene Hackman did was Heartbreakers. Never seen it. We could just wait for Gerald to pull it up, so we'll just keep guessing. Could do that. Go to the Imdaba. Oh, welcome to Mooseport. Yeah, he did a bunch of stuff before the movies we were just talking about. Heartbreakers was 2001. He, he did, so, yeah, he did the replacements in 2000 in his last, 2004. Yeah. Was Welcome to Mooseport. So, yeah, it was one of his last, considering he's got 101 acting credits. When was the Enemy of the State? Keep scrolling. Uh, it was right down there. Oh. 98. Yeah, that movie's good. I told you it was before Heartbreakers. I was right. But after, but after the net. <laughs> but... Okay, he wasn't in the net, and let's never talk about that movie again. The movie holds up. Oh, yeah. yeah. 1961, he was an uncredited cop. He played producer Gerald in a show. Yeah. He's a cop. 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 Who knows? No, that's just how long the TV show ran. You You can't trust IMDb. See, because then next to it, it shows you the episodes, and it's got the, see, you who, what character him. he played, and which episode, and what year it was. He does. Yeah. Uh, he's great. Who, Gene Hackman? 
Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He's one of my favorites, man. Yeah, yeah he's great. Because he's not... Um, He's not your traditional, you know, like actor. Yeah. He's like even not, back in the day, he wasn't a good looking guy, really? Yeah, he was just like a normal dude. Yeah. Yeah. Back when he was doing the French connection and the conversation. and Yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah, he looks like Jason Statham's third cousin in that. Kind of. <laughs> With a, maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Without the marriage. accent. Without the accent. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's enough Gene Hackman. That's enough Hoosiers. That. That's a good movie, too. Oh, man, people are wild about the Hoosiers. I am one of them. You just put it on and cry once a year? I don't cry when I watch it. I do watch what's, it probably once a year, though. What's going on with my video? I got, like, sep- sepia tones or whatever those are called over here. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah you got the... the. Apparently, you're in a... Uh, an old timey photo. <laughs> it's nineteen four yeah, nineteen twenty six over here where I'm recording. Is that what it is? Yeah, it does look like that. You got the California wired wildfires in your back room going on there. I can't get it to flick over. It's like I don't know what's going on. I think it's just the way the lighting is in the in the closet it's, that you're it's in. Just, it usually look like this. It's the same closet I'm always recording in. It's funny though, because it's I mean if you look at the like my door behind me. It's like mm-hmm. the same color as like your entire room. Yeah, it's like I have a filter on. <laughs> right. I'm like, listen to this here podcast, eh? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, right there. I don't know. It's bizarre. It does look like wildfires. Producer Gerald's pulling up pictures of the wildfires. It looks exactly like... <laughs> the air quality of the calls, it's a, right. a 12. No wonder you I don't have know. an allergy so right. bad this morning. It's a forty. It's forty. Forty two on the air quality here. It's red. <laughs> I don't understand the air quality charts. We don't uh, deal with that in Tennessee. I don't understand the air quality charts either. Tennessee, it's just pure <clears throat> American Bible Belt air down here. Yeah. And What's that? Stuff. Our air is closer to Jesus than your air. Oh, that's what I'm telling you. It's made of them. Yeah, it's made of them. He, tears of tears from heaven. Is that what it he is? He breathes it out. We breathe it in. Hmm. We take mm. it straight. He shotguns us our oxygen. So that's how the Bible Belt air works, huh? Mm-hmm. It's just it's just a little better, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't handle this video. I'm gonna have to cut myself off here in a second. You can keep, don't cut yourself off. It's fine. The background's blurred, and it's just a different color in here <laughs> than it actually is. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. Me either. Was it like that when I started? Uh, no. Okay. I don't feel like it was. It might not even be on. Oh yeah, it is on your video. No, it's like that even on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so know, let's talk about some video games. I did play something new. It's not the new thing that you played, uh, but I played Minecraft in VR. You did, and I loved it. I remember I was there. N- not only do I love Minecraft again, but I love Minecraft in VR. It's like a whole new thing. It doesn't sound fun to me at all. It's like you're there. I understand. And, uh, I understand how VR works. I understand what VR is. Thank you. But it's me- very. It works very well for that game. I uh, guess I can see that. Yeah, because like, mm-hmm. the, I mean, it's the same thing with every VR game, but it's scale, right? Like the scale. There's something about being in the scale. You could just pull up. Hey, just go to. Uh, twitch.tv forward slash game stitch and pull up where I played last. Um, it, there's something about like when you're building a house and then you walk inside that house and you're like you're in it. I don't know. It's just so much different than when you're playing outside of it. Mm-hmm. And that game is frightening in VR also. Like I fell into a cave and you all were I scared. saw were eyes. Oh, really? It's pitch black, can't see anything in eyes. I'm like, get me out of here. Were they the skeletons? I don't know. I there's uh, just a panic panic mining to get out of there. Fair I think there were spiders. Oh, even better. Now you played that uh with the friend of the show Marshall 205, didn't you? Yep. twitch.tv forward slash game stitch. Yeah, didn't I you, played with it, it, were you both in the same world? Yeah, yeah. So we're playing co op VR only on that world. Okay. So we're not gonna play it ever outside of VR. You have to tell them you're an adult to watch my videos because I swear sometimes. An adult. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, we uh, we've been playing together on there, and we're again we're only playing. Click that top one there, and then click the. It's okay to watch. I wipe my own ass. There you go. Um. So I've we've streamed it twice now. You can look at two different videos. Okay. Uh, and see how far we've come along. We started with a like a four by four dirt shack, and now we have a pretty good sized house. But yeah, our agreement was to only play it in VR together. Um, yeah. Like, can you go into this world on your own? No, they still don't have the servers going on PS4. Okay. So I can, but he can't. Okay. Um, we so far we've done two hour blocks, so we've played twice, four hours in. Uh, we were lucky enough. There he comes. That's another thing, like that you can't really tell, but when, when they walk up to you, like it's like a big ass Steve right in front of you. No. Yeah. I can see that. It, it's crazy. Uh, it just looks like, like Minecraft with a shitty camera here. As you see, he tried to get in the same bed as I'm in. Uh, huh. um, it just looks like a, uh, a not great version of Minecraft with a crazy camera, but in person, it is awesome. This is actually impossible to watch now that I'm watching it back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just moving side to side yeah. to let people throw up. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm, I'm getting nauseous here. Oh, I'm giving his name right now so you can find him. He changed his name on Twitch, so it's twitch.tv uh, forward yes. slash epic dirt dauber, and I was giving yeah. that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's magical in VR. And what is it's, that? That's an Ender Man. That sheep is tearing the grass up out there. Yeah, it's renewed my passion. Yeah, it's renewed my passion for Minecraft and. It's, it really is like a brand new game because it's been so long since I played it. And then being in VR makes it just... I mean, you're seeing all that like up close and personally. Yeah, look at that damn creeper. Yeah. I got to bring him over to some water over here. I got my wooden sword because we're just starting out. Yeah, I'm going to bring him over here. Anyway, so check out that video or don't because it's hard, almost impossible to watch. Yeah, it's tough to watch. It's Unless tough I'm watch. not moving my head like now, it's fine. It just looks like Minecraft. Just making the creeper chase you? Well, I got game to the water so he doesn't destroy everything I love. Oh. See, no damage for anything. Uh. Yeah. But yeah, that's been fun. We've played twice now on that. Um, played some Fall Guys. Played some Rocket League. I think mm-hmm. that's it. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, kind of a light week. I think two days this week I didn't play. I've had a lot going on. Um. Yesterday I was working on building some stuff I don't know how to build, so that was eventful and took up most of the day. Now I feel like I've been hit by a bus because you use muscles and doing projects like that that you don't use any other time. Right. Everything's uh, just a little tighter this morning. And everything hurts just a little bit more because you don't use them. And you yeah. didn't realize you were using them until it was too late. Yeah, I was putting a, a, new, a new subfloor down yesterday, and so my hands hurt because I shot 6,000 screws. Mm-hmm. So this morning my hands hurt, which is a, a a lame thing to have. Like my hand hurts, but it does. It hurts. You're such a my whiny up, little baby. My upper and lower back hurt. Aka Are you my getting entire old, back. Man, you're getting old. I guess. You know, it's got to be. Uh, I felt so. I don't do projects like this, and when I do, I always have the help of my stepdad. And you didn't yesterday. I didn't yesterday, but let me tell you, came out pretty damn good. Well, that's good. I'm glad it yeah. looks good. Yeah, for for those that, I was laying a floor over a floor, and you can eat my ass if you want to tell me that's the wrong way to do it, because I understand that. Uh, but the, my floor wasn't rotten, I just needed a thicker floor, and I didn't want to jack the whole shed up and try to drop the floor out from the bottom. That's crazy talk, because mm-hmm. the studs are on top of the floor. Um. So instead, I just laid it all the way flush with it, and it came out, like, super good. Like, I, my biggest crack might be, like, an eighth. Like, yeah. it's like a glove. I had to, like, step on each piece to get it to, like, go down into it, and it won't come out even without screws. Like, it's in there for life. You could have saved time not hurting your hand if you just fit right in there like that. Yeah, and then I used, I used an Advantech, so I used a nice, thick... Thick boy for the floor, and it locks together. It's got the tongue and groove. Um, so the subfloor is good. I'm going to put vinyl over top of it just to keep it nice mm. and easy to sweep out in there. That'll be, yeah, that'll be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's not the area where the chickens are actually going. It's a chicken coop. I'm going to build that area up. Um, so that's just kind of the floor that, that, that I'll be walking on. 
But yeah, I'm pretty much a construction worker and a farmer now, is what I'm telling you. Okay, good for you. I'm a general contractor. If you guys have anything you need done at home, let me know. Come give I'll me be, a quote. I l- Listen, I met you. I am not going to be calling you. I think you'll feel differently after I send you some pics of this sweet floor mm, I put down. I don't know. Maybe if I need a floor in my shed, maybe I'll yeah, call you. Yeah, I might be your guy. <laughs> Just go to shedfloorguy.com. Check me out. There you go. Because that's a thing. It's a, that's a little specific as far as... That's a little different from general contractor. There's nothing general about that. That's very specific. <laughs> I'm a specific contractor. <laughs> <laughs> I do one thing. I'm not licensed or insured. I so only, any, yes, I only do this one thing. Yeah, if that's any kind of requirement for your insurance, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. No, it's funny. It, I, it probably wouldn't pass inspection. Uh, but you couldn't fit a fart through that crack. I mean, it, well, that's nice. good. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been watching... Uh, there's like Look. a great American like barbecue cook off on Netflix. Mm hmm. Uh, I've been watching that show. There's some characters on it. Well, uh, you know what show I tried to watch? Um, I tried to watch The Chef Show on Netflix with uh, John Favreau uh-huh. as the host. And I just I couldn't get into it. I usually like those those types of shows. Check out um, the, check out the uh, the barbecue one. I found it to be very enjoyable. Is it like a. Uh, it's a competition. It's a reality. Yeah, show. I'm not into the competitions. This is just more of a of a super laid back diners, drive ins and dives. Yeah. Um, um shedfloorguy.com is available for ninety nine cents a year. It is. You could get that. So if somebody's somebody wants to mock that up and send it to me, I'll I'll approve it. No. Oh, the chef so... show is speaking of generic or general contractor, that's a general name. The chef show. Yeah, it is. You're right. I know. Um, not as into it as I I really wanted to be into it because I like John Favreau uh, yeah. and I like the movie Chef that he was in, which is why I think he called it. It's called the Chef Show. Yeah, I get he, it. He played a chef in a movie, and now he's wanting to like go around and actually learn how to cook with Seth um, Rogen. Apparently, yeah. Well, apparently, I think there's like guest stars is what it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I watched a little bit of that. I found out to be entertaining. I watched like three episodes last night while I was researching the next step of the build. Mm. By research, I mean also just watching more YouTube videos. Right. Right. Sometimes I read, but there's nothing like watching that video. And sometimes I, and I prefer to, sometimes I take it in better if I read it. Well, I, I watch about five or six videos on the on each thing, and then I find one that I like. Uh huh. Like of the of the, the processes, the processes that they use. Right. I find the one that I'm most comfortable with and I just deep dive into that. That's fair. And then I once that. I watch enough videos that I get cocky, I like to go out there and actually not do it as well. Yeah, that's how that happens. That's how yeah. that works. Yeah, I so, get that. But so, yeah, so far so good. That's good. I uh, yeah. I didn't do any projects this week. Do you think about doing a project? Nope, I didn't okay. even think about doing any projects right. this week. weren't even um, working on one, huh? Nope. Not even. I didn't even think about working on one. To be honest, because sometimes with you. I'll say I'm in the planning stages, which means that I haven't done anything but watch videos on YouTube. No, nope. I haven't even got that far with it. Um, do you I have did projects play. to do. Oh, plenty. Yeah, okay. I just don't do them. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I mean, I've been putting this one off for for months now. <laughs> yeah, I have plenty of projects to do. I just don't do them. Um, I did play some new stuff this week, though. Firstly, yep. I did get back into some Rocket League with you guys. Yep. Play a little bit of that. Um, still Rocket League. I can't play that game when I try playing with strangers and I can't do it. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough. I can't do it. So I got back into that, and surprisingly, I remembered what I was doing. Do you think I, was that a one-time thing, or do you think you want to play more Rocket League? No, I would want to play more, but I'm only playing it with people I know. I I yeah. tried to two more times playing with strangers, and I'm it's like, frustrating. no, I can't do this. Yeah. I, I am also frustrated when I play with strangers. I don't enjoy that either. Yeah. Um, so that, um, I'm not a big battle Royale person, but, uh, I found one that I thought sounded interesting to me. So free to play on a number of places. Um, I downloaded Spellbreak, uh, where it's like a battle Royale using magic. You can, you know, float stuff like that. You have magical powers. And uh, the first game of that, I took first place, so I never have to play that again. 
Is it a team thing or like you won? I won. It starts uh, with however many and it finishes with, with one person? Uh, well, it, yeah. And, well, what I don't even know what this game is. This, this video that Gerald what has pulled it is, up. No, it just shows off some of the powers. Literally um, the first time I've ever seen it. But basically there's a... It's basically... You know how the circle and everything gets smaller in PUBG yeah. and all that? Uh, well, it starts out really big. Well, right in the middle of that is like a chess type thing. Um, and it's basically king of the hill. You know, you you got to spend so much time in there to unlock that that check that chest and get the stuff out of it at the end and that's how you win the game. Oh, okay. So it's not about killing everybody. It's not, but everybody's going for the chest. So it looks fast. It's it's a little fast. Uh it's fast. A lot of jumping. Um a lot of jumping, a lot of fl- well you can fly in it too, so. Um so yeah, I anyway I ended up winning that. Did uh, you enjoy it or did you just play it? I no, I I I liked it. Um Would you play it again? I would play it again, but I mean, part of the reason I probably enjoyed it is because I was annihilating people. I was like naturally good at this game. Is there, is there something to be said for never playing it again though? And just going out one for one. Uh, definitely. I mean, yeah. that's literally where I'm at right now. Unless any friends ever get together and want to play it. You could walk away as a champion. Right. I, I already have. Yeah. Most people don't get that opportunity. Yeah. I will probably never open it up again. If, unless you guys decide to get it and go, Hey, let's play this. Now you can do the top athlete thing, and you can unretire, and then come back and be bad at it. <laughs> right. <laughs> until you eventually hang it up on kind of a somber note. <laughs> right. Um, so that got me interested in Rogue Company, so I downloaded that. I haven't played it yet, though. Another uh, free-to-play Battle Royale. Well, it's not really a Battle Royale. It's a team-based tactical shooter. All right. Another game I won't play. How about um, that? It's very much uh, it's, it's third-person. It's have, like, a Team Fortress vibe? It, yeah. Yeah, Ish. a little bit Team Fortress, a little bit, but um, what's the other one? It's kind of mm-hmm. like a cross between Team Fortress and Overwatch, I guess. Oh, is it a hero shooter a little bit? Um, um, you know, you, your team wins. Oh, yeah, not very Team Fortress. You earn yeah. money for all your kills. Oh, it's like an arcade shooter almost. Almost, yeah. What was that, uh, what was that old arcade shooter, the club? The club, yeah, I it, think so. That, yeah, where you like got, it's weird. It's like you get points for killing people. Yeah. So this is where you're like basically you're mercenary. So you earn money that way. Oh, that's that's spell break, spell ban, whatever that was called. That looks better than this. See, I haven't tried this yet. Um, so this then I look uh, excellent to me. I'm gonna try it just because, just to see. Um, but spell break was a lot of fun, and it, it looked pretty good. It's. There's a lot. It's very spell break is very typical. There is a lot going on there that you gotta, um, I guess, figure out what works best for you on the fly, which can be tough at times. But uh, like I said, I took first place, so I'm I'm happy with that. One for one. Yep. So uh, played it once, took first, done. Uh, and you guys know that this week. Um, Star Wars Squadrons came out, so I picked that up, mm-hmm. uh, which is a little bit of a surprise, even to myself, <laughs> because number one, I don't like flight sims, and number two, I don't like space shooters. Yeah, clearly the last time we talked about this, you were not getting it. Yeah. Um, with that being said, uh, Rogue Squadrons is, is is fucking cool. It's fucking good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's universally reviewed well everywhere. Yeah, it's good. It's it, what it's nice about it is you can make all the sim aspects of it. You can make them as easy or as difficult as you like, kind of. And I actually come to find out, like, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not too bad at it. Uh, I haven't played any of the multiplayer yet. I guess that'll be the real test. Um, I'm excited to play it in VR. I haven't played it in VR. I don't know that I'm going to. I may. Yeah, I'm very um, excited to play it in VR. That's the whole reason I got it was to play it in VR. Oh, yeah. Um, I have it. It's updated. It's downloaded. My pre-order stuff is installed. Like, it's ready to play. I just haven't played it yet, but it's ready. Uh, this was a uh, um, 
I guess like a spur of the moment buy. I didn't get any of the pre-order stuff. I didn't have it pre-ordered. Are you sure? Because when you were playing, it said you were playing the pre-order edition. Really? Yeah. I might have to check and see then. Yeah, when you were playing the other day, it said that you started the pre-order edition. Hmm. That may just be a weird glitch that's going on, but you bought it after it came out? I bought it after it came out. Yeah, it clearly said that on my PlayStation. I did not pre-order it because I wanted to wait and to learn the, more about it. I think the pre-order stuff is just skins for multiplayer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't think it's anything important. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, 8s out of 10s, 4s out of 5s, there's some 9s out of 10s. I mean, this game is reviewing very well, uh, which is, I think EA is maybe finally getting <coughs> Star Wars on the right track. Uh, people like The Last Jedi, people like this, so I think they're they're moving towards the right direction with it. And uh, I'm really excited to play this, but again, I bought this to play in VR, so yeah, I don't know that I'll ever play it outside of VR. I don't know that I'll ever play it in VR. I probably yeah. will, though. Uh, I do like the way they, that they're giving you that choice. It looks incredible. Yeah, it's, I bet it's going to be wacky in VR. Yeah. It probably, yeah, I can see it being pretty crazy in VR. Yeah, there's shit flying around everywhere. I do believe you're probably still going to have to use your controller. I don't think it'll probably use the move sticks. No, but you know what you can use? You can get flight stick for it. Do they have a flight stick for the PS4? Yeah, and I'm like, I if I love this and I love it in VR, I would consider getting that stick. I probably, I don't know that I would. I, I probably will try it in VR, but yeah, I'm only like three missions in right now. I yeah. just finished the third mission, uh, and I'm I'm not a bad space pilot, so. There you go. There's was that the Thrustmaster. Mm, that's something different. <laughs> that's my nickname. <laughs> I was trying to think of the lamest thing I could think of. Yeah, it's the Thrustmaster. Uh, T-Flight 4, you have to, uh, only certain ones work with that. But, man, yeah. think about being in VR and then having that flight stick. Man, that might be kind of cool. What's Crank that flight those, stick run, 200 bucks? Uh, I think it's less than that, actually. Go back to that Thrustmaster mm-hmm. one. See if you can find a price on that. Maybe toggle back over to shopping. Um, yeah. Gerald's on it this morning. He's like, that fly stick was up immediately. Yeah, it was. 80 bucks. It's only $80? Man, you crank up the headphones, you put that on, you maybe get a fan going just for some, a little bit of, you know, low there's rumble no wind plus in, There's no air. wind in space. What are you talking about? Well, just just so you get that little hum you can feel when you have your helmet on. You won't really feel the wind. You need the fan on you because it gets so fucking hot in VR. Face does get warm. Um uh, <laughs> But just just a little bit of a, that low rumble you kind of feel from a fan going. I've never used a flight stick. I don't. I don't know how that would work. I don't either. But I think it would feel good. Man, it, and you're like you're like screaming out orders to your friends. <laughs> I'm excited about it. So, oh, it's so uh, yeah. I I really enjoy it, and that's. I know that I really like it too because I it's one of those games when I'm not playing I'm like man I kind of want to play uh, kind kind of want to play Squadrons. Now I don't know if that flight stick's compatible with this game or not. It does have flight sticks. I saw a story that what's compatible with it. Mm-hmm. But see the, it it works with Ace Combat too, which is another one I keep wanting to pick up because it's got a VR mode. Mm. Um, so I think I could get some use out of it. But if I could be wrong, but I think these are impossible to find right now. The flight could sticks, be. maybe not this one, but I think. Because of Xbox or uh, uh, Flight Simulator on PS4, when Microsoft Flight Simulator on uh, PC, I think that flight sticks are like impossible to find right now. Could be. Could be wrong though. These look readily available. Those are from sketchy ass flights. Golly, look at that helmet. Yeah. Black Series Simulation helmet. That's from GameStop, which means it's plastic and overpriced. Shout out right. to GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah so I'm, I'm looking forward to playing squadrons i do want to play multiplayer i think uh for the show uh marshall 205 got it for the show patman got it you got it i got it. that's four of us potentially in flight oh, we'll get it whenever it goes now free. you know what we, i could get behind is the four of us in multiplayer because i think you can play as teams of four yeah i could get behind that in the multiplayer the four of us flying oh, together man, i'm telling you with flight sticks screaming at each other I could get behind that. Is it out of stock? Yeah. 
not available. Yeah, without a doubt, I could get behind. I could get behind that. Yeah, I think that'd be mm-hmm. fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's what we played. Yeah, Yo, did that's you play it. anything new? Well, you know, yeah, you're playing Limbo. It's, n- it's not new, but it's old. You finished RG Platinum. It? Are you going to platinum it? You going to try to platinum it? Not, not currently. You have to make mm. time, is what I've learned in life. You never have time. You have to make that time. That's right. Um, time is currency. Is, yeah, if this is your first time joining us, welcome. We appreciate you. Get comfortable. Take your pants off. Let your hair down. You know, all those things that people do when they're getting comfy. Mm-hmm. Take your shoes off. Leave your socks on. Don't make it weird. And welcome. Yeah, it's cheap. Yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. It's only for forty bucks for that game. You see what they? The, you see what they've done to us in the video game industry? That's not that cheap, right? But we're like, oh, they're giving it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm excited to play it. I'm looking for. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're positive on it so far because it seems like most people are. So I feel pretty solid that I'll enjoy it. I do think it's definitely going to uh, improve your experience if you are a Star Wars fan. Yep. Um, not. Mm-hmm. It's going to improve your experience if you are familiar with Star Wars. There's apparently a lot of, of Easter eggs, eggs in there. They're calling a lot, of, a lot of little Easter eggs in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of characters that you people that are fans are familiar with. Um, but I think I think the game stands on its own for what it's trying to do. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Two. And I hope the VR is good. I know it was it was built like VR wasn't an afterthought. It was built with VR in mind the entire time. Right. Um but fully playable outside of VR as well, like Dan was saying. Mm-hmm. Uh so I'm I'm really excited about it. Now the worry, the instant concern I have when a game is playable in VR but not necessarily only VR is length. Like if it's twenty hours, I can't do that. I'm not, you know, completing that story in VR is going to be tough. You're right. Um, and so that's immediately my fear. But with it being $30, my assumption would be that it's not 30 hours, not yeah, I don't, 20 hours. I don't know. Well, the thing is, is each of the missions that you play generally don't take more than a half hour. Yeah, I'm hoping this thing is like six, seven hours long. If it is and the VR is good, I'm going to be pretty, I'm going to be pretty positive on this thing. Yeah, because uh, that's nice. Is the most of the missions are don't aren't overly like it. They create natural stopping points. You know. So you said you're on mission three. Like roughly, you played an hour, hour and a half, whatever. Uh, pl- well, plus a tutorial. I probably played a couple hours. Yeah. yeah, and so the idea of if it's shorter because it does have this, it has VR mode and it has multiplayer. I think the value is there for thirty bucks or forty yeah. bucks. Um. Yeah, I'm ex- I'm excited to dive into it. So, uh, head over to patreon.com forward slash game stitch if you want to support us. Remember twitch.tv forward slash game stitch or twitch.tv forward slash shirtless dan seventy five if you want to check us out on the Twitches. And uh, I may be uh, please check out the YouTube as well, youtube.com forward slash game stitch because I think I'm going to try to stream some Stadia stuff if that works right. And I okay. think you can only stream to YouTube. So. I just want to see how it'll stream if I try. So I'm debating that as well. So check that out. Also, if you follow us, hit the notification bell. So, you know, anytime we go live um, on Twitch, give us a follow. Cause we're trying to get affiliate status. And I think eight, eight away. So if you could help us out there, let's dive into the news, the headlines. There's not much this week. Nope. It's mostly all lists. Nope. Nope. Might be a short week this week, guys. Um, let's see. Let's start with what's coming out for October, right? We're, we clicked over to October. It's the fourth when we're recording. It's our first, uh, show in October, 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh, and let's start with Super Mario Bros. 35 for the Switch. This one is the one that is free to play if you are a, uh, Nintendo Online member. Mm -hmm. I'll be able to report back on this next week because I do plan to play it today. Okay. So I'm excited about that. That's already out. Also already out, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time for PS4 and Xbox One. As well as Star Wars Squadrons for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. 
On October 6th, we have Baldur's Gate 3 in early access for PC. On the 8th, we have Ride 4 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And on October 9th, we have Dirt 5 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. We also have, uh, on that day, we also have FIFA 21 for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Hold on, let's uh, pause that's... right here real quick. Okay. I, I did not pull this story and should have, like, weeks ago, but EA Play is now part of Xbox Game Pass. Yes, it is. And I think I mentioned it, but I don't think we talked about it. So, the reason I'm saying that is you get that hot FIFA action as part of Game Pass now. Um because I don't think they put it up instantly, but pretty quickly you'll have access to the new one. Mm-hmm. And so if you're if if money's getting tight because we're getting, um, not looking already play it with EA Play. Uh, if I'm you're getting, get, get, I'm actually get, not sure how it works. Isn't it's just a portal for EA? Or so no, you, you get if you pay for basic, Game Pass, you get EA Play. Yeah, they're giving it to you now okay. as part of it. I, so, okay, I'm not sure how exactly how it worked, but just yeah. want to warn people that you might want to check out. If you have Game Pass, you may want to hold off buying FIFA and see what that timeline looks like. Um, I don't think it's going yet, but I think it'll be going pretty quickly after this comes out. Because Xbox emailed me the other day and told me what the timeline was for that work. Right. So, just want to warn everybody. Now, you can continue. So, yeah. So, those were on the 9th. Uh, On the 13th, we have G.I. Joe Operation Blackout for the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. And Remothered Broken Porcelain comes out on the same day for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. The 15th is Cloudpunk, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. October 16th, we've got Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. I'm confused about that because I keep I saw a bunch of headlines that said Mario Kart Home Circuit is live. Uh-huh. Um, this has it listed as the the uh, 16th, so I don't really know what's going on there. That's yeah, the I'm weird, like, um, physical cars that you're racing on the Switch that actually drive in front of you as well. Right. That we talked about. I think it's $99. Yeah. We talked about it, what, three weeks ago or something? Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago. Yeah, so. And NHL, NHL 21 comes out on that same day for the PS4 and Xbox One. Same thing. Think about that Game Pass situation. Yep, that's exactly right. October 20th sees Amnesia Rebirth for the PS4 and PC. Uh, On the 27th, we've got Ghost Runner for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. And uh, World of Warcraft Shadowlands, which is the newest expansion for uh, World of Warcraft. That comes out just for PC, obviously. Uh, The 29th will give us Watch Dogs Legion for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And the big one of the month... On October 30th, we've got the Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope, for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And also releasing that day is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, overall, I think October is a decently solid month. Yeah, it is. There's some good games in here. Yeah, I think, you know, looking at Super Mario Bros. 35 is neat. Crash Bandicoot, a lot of people are jazzed up about. Squadrons, of course, we're excited about. Baldur's Gate's big for a lot of people. Uh, you yep. have FIFA and NHL. Uh, that GI Joe game getting a little bit of positive buzz. Yeah, that's what I've I've heard. I'm kind of yeah. yeah, getting a little bit of positive buzz. For, I'm kind of into it, wanting to check it out. It's got a neat look to it. So uh, then looking at uh, obviously the WoW expansion, I forgot Watch Dogs Legion was even coming. Pikmin Three Deluxe, which is the Wii U port, uh, that game is awesome. Uh, and then again for us, you said it, the Dark Pictures Anthology, a little hope. I can't yep. wait for so October really pretty solid. Yeah, it's just, October's looking like a good month actually, and that's what I have to say about the positive lists that we're going to read this week. Um, Man, because this, now we'll yeah, get this, into PlayStation Plus and whatnot. See, doesn't this look good? This does. This looks good. This this GI Joe game. Yeah, GI it Joe does. Operation I, Blackout. Yeah, people have been saying good things about it. Apparently, it's it's co op and PvP multiplayer. Yeah, it looks neat. Yeah, it's got a good vibe. Yeah, it's, it's got that, that. Yeah, it's got producer Gerald saying it's got kind of a uh, a Borderlands uh, art style to it, and um, it does. It, it very much looks like a comic book, I guess. I don't. Might I don't it, know. I don't know if it's a sixty dollars game either. I don't either. I might have to. I might have to look into that one. Yeah, it's getting a lot of positive buzz from people. Because uh, I, I had played that really shitty one that came out when Rise of Cobra came out, so yeah, it's forty bucks. 
Nice. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation Plus free games for October 2020 were also revealed. Those will be live on Tuesday, depending on when you're listening to this. Um, but the 6th is when they're available. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to get two games as part of PlayStation Plus starting October 6th. You'll get Vampire and Need for Speed Payback. Hmm. So you can do what you want with that. Are you interested in either of those? No. no. Uh, I'll play Need for Speed Payback probably as a, I don't know what to play tonight and I want to play something. Mm-hmm. Probably once. Um, I don't think I'll ever play Vampire. Yeah. I, pl- I played Vampire and the combat in it wasn't great. Yeah. Um, that's a don't nod production, so um, you know the story's going to be good, and the story was very good, but I couldn't get past the the combat wasn't great for me, uh, so I didn't play it. And I'm never into the Need for Speed game, so yeah, uh, I probably won't be into this one. Yeah, not super thrilled with that list. Nope. I'll tell and you real we- quickly before you do this list. I I would have been thrilled if they gave away Dark Pictures Anthology made Man of Medan. Oh, right. Yeah. To that get would have people been jazzed up about playing the second one. Uh, I think that would have been a smart move. It's October. It's creepy. The other one's coming out right before Halloween. I just think yeah. that would have been... I would have been over the top with that choice. That's what uh, they did with Until Dawn last year. Yep. But Remember? I, yeah. I don't love Vampire and Need for Speed for October, but that's okay. They didn't ask me. Well, I guess I kind of get Vampire a little bit. I think Vampire probably makes sense. It's not the game I would want, and Need for Speed to me doesn't make any sense other than EA is probably about to talk about Need for Speed some more. Right. So I hear that. I'm not into that at all. So also release, we also have the list for Xbox games with gold for October 2020. Uh, for the Xbox One, we've got Slay Away Camp, Butcher's Cut, which is from going from the 1st to the 31st. Uh, we've got uh, Made of Skur, which is the 16th, to November 15th, because Microsoft yep. still hasn't fixed this. Um, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, from the 1st to the 15th, on both Xbox One and Xbox 360. And Costume Quest, which is available October 16th to the 31st, on both Xbox One and 360. Now, I don't give a shit to play any of these either, but I will say the theme is obviously stronger on Xbox. Uh, yep. Without a doubt. Those games all seem to fit October very well. Um, I'm into the theme thing. I, I like that. But Costume Quest is excellent. It's like 65 years old. Yeah, it's ancient. It's very good. It's very old. I don't even know what Slayaway Camp Butcher's Cut is, but the name's fantastic. Um, yeah, it, it sounds geared for Halloween, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever. I don't know what do. made of Skur is either, but it sounds, um. It yeah. sounds Halloweenish. Yeah, it does. I don't even know what it is. It might not be, but it sounds it. I'm not going to. And then, of course, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, I think, kind of gives it away. I'm not going to. Slayway Camp is a uh, isometric top-down. Blocky. It looks like um, Minecraft style something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm not going to play any of these, just to be clear. Yeah, I won't be playing them either because I don't have an Xbox. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to play any of those probably. Uh, Google Stadia Pro reveals for October 30th: uh, Dead by Daylight, Celeste, Super Hot Mind Control Delete, Lara Croft in the Temple of Osiris, Human Fall Flat, and Jotun. Oof. Um, Dead by Daylight, obviously, kind of headline in their free games. I think it makes sense with October coming around. I'm very excited to play Celeste. That's the game I was planning on streaming on mm. uh, over there. And Super Hot Mind Control Delete is interesting because that just came out. Um, yeah. And I played my uh, Super Hot in VR, which is I loved it over there. But this is not in VR, and this is actually not. I don't think even on console. It may be. It may only be PC. Maybe it's on console, but it doesn't have VR support. Something like that. But anyways, I'm excited to check it out. Uh, Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris has literally been free on every service that it could be free on. And Human Fall Flat I already have. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all right. It's six games, but... It's know, not a I great might, lineup. Might play one of them. In my this mind, is that Skur game. It looks this intense. Is, yep. um, oh, okay. It's definitely a Halloween-y. Yeah, Halloweeny. 
Yeah. I'm not going to play that at all. It looks terrifying. Yeah. It's... Oh, no. Yeah, it looks oh. terrifying. Yeah, it looks pretty scary. That looks like my room right now. <laughs> um, those are the free games uh, for the month. That's for Stadia, uh, Xbox, <coughs> and PlayStation. Uh, do check them out. At least add them to your libraries, uh, whether yes, you yes. play them or not. Uh, yes, the only yes. two other stories, and embrace yourself, these aren't very exciting. Uh, the first story, uh, the internet was set ablaze uh, this week when uh, they announced, <laughs> Nintendo announced that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's next character would be Minecraft Steve. Minecraft Steve. And apparently it has since uh, been revealed that this was basically in the plans when the game was being developed. Mm-hmm. Minecraft Steve was eventually going to be a uh, downloadable character from the very beginning. In the reveal trailer, Steve was spotted building walls, crafting items like swords, and uh, summoning TNT blocks. He's able to jump atop blocks as he places uh, blocks that he places to get out of tight spots. And we saw some constructed materials like switches being dispatched to fling enemies and anvils to crush them. Uh, it, it is super cool looking uh, in the trailer they show off. And there, so this happened, right? And the internet again went crazy. Twitter they crashed crazy. when this announcement happened, and a lot of people saying Minecraft Steve crashed Twitter. That's how much movement there was on the internet when this got announced. So uh, it's, it's possible. It's smart. I mean, it's smart for everyone involved. And I love Nintendo's relationship with uh, Xbox and Microsoft. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's important for the future of both of those. Um, so I'm, I'm yeah. really, I'm into it. He does have different skins available as well. So he's got alt skins also, but yeah, that's, that's neat. If you know, if you're still yes, playing so. smash brothers, I think that's a cool addition. Um, I wonder how many people aren't playing smash brothers. will go pick it up because of the, the, the crazy following that Minecraft has. The Minecraft board is super awesome too. Yeah. It's neat. It's uh Interesting. It's it's very interesting to me that they, yeah. You spoke about the relationship that Nintendo and Xbox seem to have, or Microsoft seem to have, and it's pretty. It's not something I th- think I would have ever seen coming, but here we are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Like those, Nintendo and anyone seemed unlikely to be working together, but they seem to very have a very good relationship. Yeah, they seem to work well together. Yep. And we'll stick to that Nintendo for the last story, that Nintendo vibe. Animal Crossing New Horizons big uh, 1.5 fall update is now live, adding Halloween event and other autumn-themed items to the game. But there's still more to come this season. Nintendo has confirmed another Animal Crossing update is slated to arrive in late November, and it's adding two more big seasonal events. They haven't shared any other further details, um, but it's accompanied by images of Franklin the turkey and Jingle the reindeer the former host of the series of the Harvest Festival Thanksgiving event, uh, while the latter appears during the Toy Day Christmas. So it looks like both holidays are coming back as part of November's update. Again, they haven't explained how it'll work or in what capacity, um, but that's exciting. Uh, beyond that, there's, there's also, uh, they've added Amiibo cards. They're back. The Amiibo cards from Happy Home, whatever that was called, Happy Home yeah. Designer. Uh, they had cards for that, but they're coming back. Series one through four of the Amiibo cards will be available again at retailers. Each pack will cost six U.S. dollars and include six cards. You can use these cards to invite villagers to live on your island and take photos of them in the game's Photopedia, Phototopia mode, I should say. Um, Photopia. And here's the thing: this this story ends saying that the the Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing editions have started to arrive in select retailers again. Uh-huh. And let me tell you, I was in Walmart yesterday, and they had them. And it took everything inside of me not to buy a new Switch. <laughs> because my Joy-Cons are fucked, and that's $80. Right. And because I'm a moron, I'm like, oh, for $200 more, I could just get a whole new Switch and not even worry about the Joy-Con. Yep, I think we had this conversation last week about how your math is bad. But I, I physically saw one. <laughs> I mean, it was there for me to buy. It was ready. It was on the shelf. It was priced. It looked yeah. incredible. Um, well. It doesn't. Um, 
That's the Walmart I was at. Were you getting ready to pick it up, Gerald, because you're a moron too? Dude, Gerald's tight, dude. He's thrifty. He is. He's very thrifty. He is. He's a frugal, people would say. Cheap. He's a cheap ass other people might say that's how that's how that's how you put it (laughs) i'd say he's frugal i like that my my friends are of two cloth we have thrifty and we have morons um because patman is very thrifty as well yes he is but then you myself and friend of the show marshall 205 are all morons are morons yeah i'd say matt's pretty thrifty too um, about yeah. picking up, he doesn't pick up everything. Um, yeah, he doesn't pick up dumb things. He yeah. But like, if if friend of the show Marshall two hundred five, who is not called that anymore, he's actually friend of the show Epic Dirt Dauber now. But if he texts me that and said I bought that switch, the the Animal Crossing switch, that I'd be like, oh cool. Like that wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't be a surprise, no, no. no. And when you bought Squadrons, and now you're probably going to buy G.I. Joe, those two things don't surprise me either. <laughs> because I get it. But yeah, I wanted this thing bad. Oh, there, you... was one, there was one game I bought that threw you off, though. Well, Ghost of Tsushima, because you Ghost went so of... hard in the paint yeah. that you weren't going to buy it. Ghost of Tsushima, yes. Now, Gerald, when you saw this at the Walmart, did you think about having it? No, not <laughs> even a... I, I pictured it in my house. I pictured touching it, opening it. Are you still playing Animal Crossing? So, so you're still playing it, but you're not. This didn't do anything for you. You don't like the colors. You don't like the dock. He doesn't like the dock. I love it. I'm excited yeah. about it. I know you are. You couldn't hear Gerald's question, but he wanted to know, is there a special edition that would inspire Dan to buy another Switch? Now, keep in mind, Dan doesn't really play his Switch to start with. Yeah, no. So this would take a lot. I don't need the um, the special edition console. No, they don't. The, hmm. the consoles the don't do anything for me. Now, he, he brought up Mass Effect. Like he did, a, yeah. What if there's he a did. bundle that came with one through three and a special console? Well, maybe. Yeah. That's a maybe. It would depend on what it was running. See, guys, Dan's a moron. That's what I was just got done telling you. Maybe. <laughs> that's that's. It would I... have to be something. Oh, now Gerald might be a moron because now he would buy a Lego edition. <laughs> you were doing good. You just, just stopped talking. You'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the thing is, I think that that. You know, I we joke about being dumb about it, but like I think that that's just like that's the passion. That's part of why we love video games to start with, and we love the things we're into. Is is I love Animal Crossing so much. It wasn't about the money or having another switch. It was about having that, like having that switch, that, that, switch, yeah. that Animal Crossing switch, that thing that says I love Animal Crossing for as long as I have a switch. Like I would almost get that switch and give away my old one to someone who wants one, who isn't able to buy one right now, you know, with Christmas coming up and everything like that. Cause it's not yeah. about the money. I'm not rolling in it, but I can get a $300 switch. Um, but I'll tell you the main factor that led to me not getting it is I'm like, how fucking hard is it to switch over to a new switch? We just need a USB cord, right? You just USB know. transfer from time. See, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you saying it's not a big deal. But it's more work than Ryan wants to do. I, I, well, he's deathly afraid he's going to lose something. I'm worried. Yeah, that's it. Click on the <laughs> click on that image that shows the back of it. I think it's got a little. Uh, I think the back of it's different too. The back is black, also, of the switch. It's just a normal switch. Yeah. See, it has little. Yeah, it's got little designs on it that are Animal Crossing inspired. I yeah. love that thing. Like just so uh, this conversation right here is making me regret not picking it up. Well, maybe it's still there. Go back. It won't be there because that's how life works. And you know you don't this. Know that you have a go statue look. that tells you, you this, until you go. Or you look. don't have a statue you that doesn't tell you this. Or you waited on it and it's gone now. <laughs> you know how much it hurts when you Man, wait on something. And fuck you. <laughs> See, you know how much it hurts when you wait on something. No, it's never back. Fuck you. No, I'm, I'm done. Fuck it's you. never back. 
can't believe you did that to me. Brought that up again. It's not like you forgot. It's not like I forgot. You're right. I would imagine you wake up every morning and remind yourself of it. It's it, it's not every morning, but it's it's at least four times a week. Can you can you shift that to local and see if it still says there's one in? Because that's like the weird online price that it's giving you, where it's not even the right price. It, this is a if you're listening, this is a normal price switch. Don't pay more for it than normal. Like it's right. It's a regular price. It's two ninety nine. I also have the shitty battery life one. Oh, you have the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have the first one, and my Joy-Con have Joy-Con drift, so. It sounds like you're due for a new one. Oh, I th- was just thinking the same damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't See, know. See, and that's, that's the really bad part, is that you talked before about how we're morons, but the thing is, we encourage the moronic behavior. Oh, 100%. Because we're morons. Well, I'm not a jealous kind of guy. I get excited when you guys get something. Like for me, I'm not like, oh, I wish I had that. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Because I also like buying dumb stuff. Now, I, here's I, a couple caveats. The, the people I just talked about, all of us can afford to buy the things that we buy. Our mm-hmm. bills are paid first. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't condone the behavior of spending money you don't have versus taking care of your responsibility first. Uh, I'm in agreement, one hundred percent. Um, but if you can afford it, it's not going to set you back. You're not pulling that money from some other thing. I love when people buy the things that they buy. Um, and and you know, luckily enough, in our friends group, even the thrifty tight ass ones can't afford to buy those things. And again, I yes. don't think anybody I know is rich, but I think everybody I know is getting by okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and and so I'm excited when you guys buy something because I know it didn't break the bank and I know you were able to get, you know, a fun thing. Yeah, you can buy it from GameStop right now. It's yeah, you cart. better go. Get there. Golly, look how good that thing would look on a shelf in my house. Just, just go get it. Stop talking about it. You're, You're not going to inspire it. me You're more gonna than You're going to regret it if you don't get myself. it. I've been talking to myself about this for a whole day now. They're gonna, You're going to regret it if you don't go get it. I already regret it. Go get it. As soon as you're, when you're done with this podcast, you get up and you go. If I leave the house today, there's a good chance it happens. I'll just tell you that. Better go get it. I've got a birthday coming up. There's Christmas don't, coming don't up. Make this, don't make this your statue. I know. See, that's hurt. That, that, that hits me hard. <laughs> because I know how much that hurts you. Because you could buy the statue. It's not the point. I could buy the statue. It's not the point. The point is... You could have bought it then when you found it at a re- at the right price. Like I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for this. That doesn't anything right. other than two ninety nine. I don't want it. If it's three fifteen, I'm not even interested. Right. No. And that statue they don't make anymore, and I can't just buy it. It is yeah, appreciated in value price, quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, you'd um, have to way overpay for it now. I would have to way overpay for it, and I like the statue. That's not the point. The point is, is I found it out in the wild and I didn't buy it. Yeah. And now it's because even even with the appreciation, it's not like I would have sold it. Right. But but that's kind of not the point. Mm-hmm. I get it. It's hard to explain. I can't explain it to someone who doesn't understand. Yeah, I get it. You though. know. So it looks but like, you, with but this, you understand what I'm saying. It looks like with this Animal Crossing Switch, you can get it from um, Best Buy. I don't know if it's in stock at Best Buy yet. It's the correct price at Best Buy. It's the correct price at yeah. You can buy it from them. It's the correct price at GameStop. It's the correct price in Walmart in stores, not online, and do not buy it from Amazon. Uh huh. Um, I I think that they're like this is something they're supposed to keep in stock. I don't think this is like a one time more shipment of them. Like I think they're going to continue to make these. Are you uh, sure? No, I'm not sure. Yeah. See, but I don't play my Switch a ton. There will be a new Switch, I think, next year. Mm-hmm. Um, the Switch whatever pro plus the new nintendo switch um whatever they decide to call it the new switch light whatever i should wait i don't know what'll happen that's where that's where i'm gonna leave this i should wait i don't know what will happen just i regretted not buying this the first time around right i know and then to see it in person yesterday i just and you'll you'll appreciate this because you do it too (laughs) i'm sure but i would just keep walking down the aisle Yup, I know. Like, 
like you, you you know you shouldn't buy, but you just keep going over there and looking at this thing, and you're like, God, it looks so good. <clears throat> I just I looked at it probably like thirty times. I would leave and go somewhere else, yep. and I would just find and myself come back, back and over. look at it again. Yep, yep. I would yep. just find can... myself back in the aisle looking at it again. That sounds stupid unless you're someone who understands. Yeah, because you're like, I'd be so good to have that. <laughs> It'd be so good to have that. Yep. Um, but Christmas is coming up. I do have a couple family members who I think would like to have a switch who don't and probably aren't in the spot to buy one right now. Uh huh. Um. And it's a little bit of an asshole move to give somebody a switch with controller drift, but it's free. So I mean, or just can, buy new Joy Cons for it and give it to them. I'll give them a switch and new Joy Con. I got to pay for oh, the switch I don't need. Uh, oh my god! Uh, Gerald's asking if I sent them in. Yes, I did send it in, and the same one that they fixed in air quotes is uh, broken again. Oh, I got the same. I got the same one back. It was repaired. Yeah, I'm sure I can send it in. It's just been the point of like, I shouldn't have to send my shit in. I get it. You know, you shouldn't have to. It's bad. It's it. unplayable in handheld mode now. Oh, that sucks. So if I hit down or up, it'll it's just scroll- kind of the whole point of it. Yeah, if you hit down or up, it scrolls like a like a slot wheel. Mm, on it a just menu, keeps going. Yeah, and yep. you just have to keep hitting up until it lands on the thing you want it to land on, which has really kept me from playing the Switch. I, like, it's really killed my Animal Crossing time because if I can't play in ta- in a uh, uh, TV mode, I don't, I can't play it because I have to have a Pro controller. Right. And I'm not setting it up in tabletop mode with a damn kickstand and getting a controller out like an asshole. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Lean forward and basically touch my face to it to see it while uh, I'm holding the controller. I do not blame you. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at on that. But. Shout out to Nintendo for making me make tough choices. Assholes. No tough choices for me. Nothing else is available anywhere for Nintendo, but God forbid they don't have this on a shelf in front of me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Like, you can't even buy that dumb Lego set they came out with. <sighs> but but they make sure this is in stock. Yeah. And I love Legos. I'm not shitting on Legos. That Lego set is shitty. No, not the NES one. That's a that's a remarkable. I was talking about the Super Mario Bros. Duplo looking set. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. I found that in the wild at the store here. That's 50 percent off, and I still didn't buy that. Yeah, the starter it, set. It looked like garbage, huh? Well, I wanted the the Mario out of it because he interacts with the NES that 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 I got. Oh, but you couldn't bring yourself to buy it with no regret, though. No, because it's dumb. Yeah. Even the box is shaped one. stupid. It's not even in a, in a rectangle box. It's in some sort of like octagon shaped thing. Yeah. Look at it. It's dumb. I see it. Pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, so it's 60 bucks. I found it for 30 bucks and I still passed. But Mario's selling for more than that on his own. Just the Mario. Right. Because people want it for the NES. Because it owners. interacts with. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so when you crank the TV on the NES set, it scrolls the TV, and he makes the noises that correspond with what's happening. Gotcha. Which I think is cool. Yeah, it all sounds very unnecessary for me. <laughs> well, Dan, I don't know this, but as a grown-ass man, Legos are unnecessary. Well, fair enough. As Gerald sits in front of an entire room of them, uh huh, and you have them across from you. Um uh, up and, and to I, the right. And I have them in literally in every room in my house, so. Except the yeah. kitchen, though. I don't keep any Lego in the kitchen. Did you? I kept mine. Gerald said he sold the poly bag that came as a free gift for the NES. I, I kept mine. Um, those NES sets are already starting to go up in value. Mm-hmm. Already starting to go up. I keep thinking about selling it because I don't need it. But also, I love having it, but I'll tell you, the first thought I had, and it's funny I didn't bring this up, the first thought I had when I saw that Switch is I could sell that Lego set and pay for it. Ah. Uh, because I i haven't put that set together. That I could sense. sell that set and pay for that Switch. Yeah, I could see that. Or I could just keep the set and wait for it to go up. Or put it together. I really bought it to put together. I want to put it together, but I don't have anywhere to put it. Did you put yours together, Gerald? Are you going to? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Gerald don't have the space either. It's a fucking mess. Fucking mess. 
What if Gap we bought space? a where? Just Gerald, do it. what if we bought a warehouse space where we just put our bullshit in there? Just full of Legos and video game memorabilia and whatever else it is. Yeah, the, the HQ. We'll call it the Game Stitch headquarters. And somehow we'll pay for it. I don't know how yet. Patreon, you're going to have to ramp up. And because Dan's not here to put shit in the warehouse, if we make enough off Patreon, we'll buy him that damn statue. All right, yeah. Dan's on board now. <laughs> yeah. So you could go in the warehouse every day. I mean, you'd have a key. Well, you don't so know that's what, what I do put is I look at my Green Arrow stuff all the day. I have it sitting like right... See, it's right next to my chair that I play video games yeah. in. Yeah. So when loading screens, I look over at my collection, yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, you we're all morons. out of there? Is that fucking statue? We're all morons. Some of us just more thrifty than others. Yeah. But the fact that we have a room full of bullshit that we like to just look at. And and I have so much bullshit that's not put up that when I go through boxes, it's like I just got it all over again. Like as I go through stuff in my garage and stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. And uh, I get just as excited as the first time I got it. Yeah. Oh man, there's eight million statues. I don't think he I don't think you'll find the one without knowing. Is it that one? No. Golly, that thing's six hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah, that's a no, that's not it. That's that's a sideshow collectible. Those are always very expensive. Uh no, it was it was when Arrow was had just come out. Yeah. Um, it was right after the first first season of Arrow. And I and Dan has told this story so many times and so if you've been around I know you've heard it, but so I we were with him and he went back and forth so many times about buying it <laughs> and then decided not to. So you know, like we just keep walking by it. He was doing that and ultimately decided not to get it. That's why it's so tough because you wanted it then and decided not to because of what it cost. Right. And it was how much back then? Uh, 119. 119, okay. And I think the last time I looked at it, it may have gone down a price now, but last time I looked at it, it was like $899. Yikes. Well, yeah, like it appreciated, like I said. Um, Because this was like the first statue that was made specifically from the Arrow TV show. It's a tough spot to be in. And I believe it was a DC Collectibles. It's a tough spot to be in, but so. um, that's all the news stories we have to pull from. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Thomas and Zach, uh, two of the best people I know, mm-hmm. for supporting us over at Patreon dot com. And um, thanks, thanks for listening, everybody. Everybody we appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, remember, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash game stitch and support us if you want to. If not, that's fine. Let your friends, family members know, and anyone who owns the Animal Crossing Switch, make sure they know as well. If you guys really, really, really love us, you could send Dan that statue and you could send me that Switch. Mm-hmm. And you could send producer Gerald something of his choosing. We'll let you know later what he would like. Gerald, if I told you you could have something for a couple hundred dollars right now, what would it be? Something like that. We'll get back Something to you on Lego. specifics. Yeah. We'll let you know which ones. Yeah, we'll get back to you. So if you guys, Christmas is coming up. I got a birthday coming up. Dan and Gerald have birthdays next year. That's true. That's something to you. Uh, when's your birthday, Gerald? Oh, yeah. They have birthdays next year. So keep that in mind. That's coming up. I don't know what you guys do for a living, but if there's any very wealthy um, listeners, longtime listeners, mm-hmm. uh, you know, get at us. Let us know. Uh, but if not, that's cool too. And uh, we appreciate, like I said, we appreciate you listening. You can follow us on Twitter at game underscore stitch. We all have individuals, but we don't really use them. So there's that. True story. And check out the Twitches and the YouTube so you can watch us play sometimes. Because I will stream Squadrons when we play, and I'm sure Dan will also have his going when we play multiplayer. More than likely. Yep. So so check all okay. of that out. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Are you going to say something? You got something? Me? Yeah. No, just I thought I cut you off. All right, good night. <laughs>